guys, it's Maddie, and guess what? My school's closed today. Oh, oh, ah, ah. I can't believe my school's closed today. So I've had like school closures before, but it's for snow days, because you don't want kids to like slip on the ice. But today is because of extremely cold weather. It is minus 34 Celsius, which is minus 30 in Fahrenheit. And that's just how cold it is. But if we add on wind, it could be up to like minus 40 Celsius. That is freezing. And today I'm like wearing something really warm, even though I don't have to go outside. I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt and a sweater. So I'm gonna be super cozy. So how this all happened is I woke up at 7.19 because I slept in from my alarm, so <laughs> my bad. My mom saw the phone and she said, oh, there's a call from the school. And then the note says, school's canceled. So I'm like, yes. But then I forgot that we have to take Sadie to the vet. So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. So I'm kind of gonna be showing you the day in the life of what I do when I have no school. So let's go get Sadie so we can get in the car to go to the vet. Look at how frosty my playground is. And the trees look super pretty because they're all sparkly from the sun shining on the snow. I'm freezing. I'm going to go get in the car with Sadie. They get all cuddled up in the back and I think she's scared because she's shivering. Mm. She knows that we're going to the vet. Oh, wait, be careful. It's okay. Shh. Okay, puppy. You're, you're good. Okay, off we go. Sadie just lay down. She looks so cute. Aren't you adorable? You like your ears scratched? What are you doing? Do you like your ears scratched? Oh, does that feel nice? You're so soft. Oh, you're so cute. How pretty the mountains are today. They're beautiful and they're really frosty. Oh, look at all the mist down there. Okay guys, we're almost at the vet and Sadie is getting a little scared. She was um whining a little bit. You're all right, Sadie, and she actually stood up again. Poor puppy. It's not as bad as Maggie. Maggie will whine and bark a lot. See, she's standing. Thinks she knows where we are, don't you, puppy? Probably because she's been here many times. Guys, we just pulled into the vets. Sadie likes all the veterinarians. She just doesn't like going in. As you can hear her, she's whining. All right, time to get her in. Help. We're in here waiting for the vet, and Sadie keeps banging her tail on everything. And she kept trying to get out, and so someone opened the door for her, and then she's like, I'm going out. And I had to pull her back like, no, you can't go out yet, Sadie. She, she apparently doesn't like it right now. Come on, Sadie, come on, come on. It's okay, little puppy, you're so soft and fuzzy. Oh. Look at the cool horse picture, I love horses. This one looks a little dirty, it has mud on it. Good job, Sadie, you're all done. Let's get out of here. We stopped at Starbucks, how yummy. And I also got a hot chocolate. <laughs> and poor Sadie gets to watch. Look at our neighbors have all of the horses and blankets, but not the poor donkey. Poor little donkey, he looks so cold. All right, we're back from the vets and Sadie did great. She's actually 13 years old, which is pretty old. She's an old puppy. Um, and I forgot what it was called, but she has like cataracts for dogs. Hi, Maggie. She has cataracts for dogs. Her hearing isn't good. And then her legs are all sore. Come here, puppy. Maggie's just bugging me, so you might as well just come with me. Um, but Sadie did really good, and she did kind of slip, but she got back up because 
she was leaning into my mom and my mom's like, hey, we'll stand up because she's just like. And then that's how she kind of fell. So before me and my mom have to go to an appointment that my mom has for like blood work, which is in the noon, I have a little bit of time to do something. So what I'm gonna show you guys is some stuff I got from Chapters and the slime that me and my bestie made over the weekend. Hi, on our sleepover, as you know from my night routine video. So we did some slime and we actually had two attempts our first time it did not work out. The slime was all like goopy and gooey and it wasn't like slime at all. It could barely even stretch. So then the second time we made it, it went way better. So I'm gonna show you guys that and then what we got from chapters. And maybe I'll bring Maggie since she thinks my hand has something yummy on it. Cause she licks it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the slime. So this is the one that I made at my friends. So it's this kind of purpley pink and it has a whole bunch of bubbles. It has good slime ASMR and it's really crunchy. And it has really good stretch. It's a little bit sticky, but that's fine. Here, I'm gonna try and get a really good stretch where it kind of like gets all clear in the middle because it looks really cool. Well, there we go. And if you see all the gold and red stuff, that is, oh gosh, all the puppies are in here. <laughs> I'm surrounded by animals. So all those gold sparkles, they're glitter. And I just kind of picked them up from the table that we were making it on. Maggie, <laughs> all the puppies are surrounding me. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to my second slime. So this is orb slimy buttery fluff and it's bubblegum. And I'm actually regretting not getting the two flavors. Um, one was purple and one was green. I don't know why the purple one was mango and I'm assuming the green might have been green apple. But this stuff is really good. Look at this. Oh, and it smells delicious. Hey, look at that little bubble. And this one has lots of bubbles. <laughs> Maggie is sniffing all over Sadie like, hey, where have you been? <laughs> Sadie just kept looking at me. Sadie's like, looking at me like, help me. Sadie does not look very impressed. But this one's better to kind of get like a whole bunch of clear. Now that's what looks cool. And I love like popping it and spreading it out. Oh, this is the best part. kind of farts and makes some weird noises. Oh, a high pepper. Oh, a little puppy, they're so cute. <laughs> this is my auntie's dog, so my auntie's here right now and she brought pepper because my cousin's at school because unfortunately um, he didn't <laughs> pepper. Unfortunately, he didn't have like a snow day or for cold weather because it wasn't as cold where he lives. Hello, Pepper. Hello. Because we're out of town, so it's a little bit colder. Now Pepper's licking me. <laughs> okay, go Pepper. Go Pepkins. Here you go. Although Pepper is really soft and fluffy. All right. And about fluffy, I actually got some reading socks and these are some bunny socks and they're so soft and fluffy. And I wore these yesterday. So I'm gonna put them back on today because my feet are freezing. And I actually took off my other socks just so I could put on these. Look at how cute they are. <laughs> and they have a whole bunch of fluff on them. That's from Pepper, cause she squashed them. 
And then the other pairs of socks I got were these heart ones. And here's the coolest thing. They had kid size and adults. So my mom got the exact same socks as me. So now we're twinsies. Except my mom's not wearing her socks now. Hello, Pepper. You just you just love to come in here. Oh yes, hello. Yes, hello. Cute and fluffy. All right, go Pepper. <laughs> or not. It looks like I have a room full of puppies. There you go. All right, the next thing I got at Chapters was this Gabrielle Gale's Ages of Oz, A Dark Descent. So this is a book and it is a lot. And this was in the nine to 12 year old fiction. And I'm gonna show the bookmark. So I have a bookmark in here. This is, whoops, wrong way. I have a Riverdale bookmark. And I actually watched the show Riverdale on Netflix, so that's why I picked it. I just like was scrolling through a whole bunch of bookmarks. I'm like, eh, eh. And I'm like, ooh, Riverdale. So I decided to get this one. And I was going to read the first page of this yesterday, but I just never got to it. So maybe I will today since I have a day off from school. And then I actually got this. It was supposed to be a makeup bag for dance, but I found out it was a purse. It's fluffy on the front and then it has sequins on the back. And these are the flip ones. And then it goes to silver. So I actually put some things inside here. I have more bookmarks. I have um, a banana. The kitty who lives in a banana. And then they come in these little cases and I thought this one was super cute. And this tassel -y thing keeps getting in the way. Uh, here it is. This was the case for Riverdale, so I'm just gonna put that to the side. Um, I really like this one. It's a saying and it says, do more of what makes you happy. So that's a great saying. I think it's really nice. And my mom got this one. And because I picked out like, I don't know, 10 bookmarks. And this was one of the ones that she picked. And I'm like, I like this one too. So I got it because I thought it had a great message. The next one is this cute anime character. And I don't know what it says at the bottom, but I just thought that the anime character was really cute and kawaii. All right, the next two things I have in here involves more slime. They're actually not slime, but they're these cute putties. And I know they may look like slime, but they're not. This one is brain, brainy putty, and this is orb slimy, and this is violet. And this one changes colors. So I'm gonna try and get this to change colors. It doesn't say what it changes colors to. Oh, I think it changes into pink because you can kind of see in some parts that it's a little bit pink. All of the dogs are so noisy today. They're barking and panting. And I was just looking at my mom's nail polish and it actually looks like the same color as the slime. <laughs> Comparison. So it looks pretty similar. This might take a while to color change, so I'm gonna put this, oh, 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 pink. I knew it was pink. More pink. Then we have Aquarina Translucent Glitter. It's a little stiff. I think this one's my favorite. It has so much glitter and sparkles. Now that's a lot of glitter. And you can even see in the container, there's a whole bunch of glitter at the bottom. So that's everything that I got from Chapters. And I actually realized that I have still a little, uh oh, I hear my mouth. Um, 
as I was saying, I still have a little bit more time, so I'm going to change my AG dolls because I have a whole bunch of my American Girl dolls and they're still in their PJs. I forgot to change them. And quickly before I dress my American Girl dolls, for the last two weeks, like for the first two weeks of girls group, as you saw me show you my magic eight ball, we actually made something else. It was 2019 New Year resolutions. And you might remember that from, I think it was my room tour video. So we made this whole banner here and I added it to my positivity wall. And this is a really great memo. It says, you have only failed if you have given up, which I think is true because you can't fail something not unless you're like, you know what, I give up. I'm not gonna try and master my nine times tables. Cause that's your choice. Cause you're just failing yourself by giving it up. And then this, I tried to do fireworks and a whole bunch of dots and I wrote 2019. And these are my 2019 goals. Um, it says 2019 will be the hashtag best year ever because in March I get to go on a vacation with my mom on March 27th for a concert. And then in April I will have a dance competition. And then it says a few things that make me excited for 2019 are going on vacation, dance competition, horseback riding, girl group, which should be girls group, made a mistake there, turning 10, summer, swimming in the summer. I love summertime. I mean, I like winter, but summertime is the best because my birthday's in summer. And then something new I'd like to learn in 2019 is calligraphy because I got a calligraphy set for Xmas. So I can't wait to learn it this year. An awesome goal I'd like to set this year is being near by making my bed, cleaning up garbage, and so on, because I'm pretty messy, as you would have seen from my room tour. And then here's 2019 with a whole bunch of, like, dots. And this is another memo that I really like. It says, mistakes are proof that you're trying. And it is true, because any time you make a mistake, like if you accidentally knock into someone or bump in, you can be like, oh, sorry. And you shouldn't be like, great, now my life is ruined because I bumped in, because everyone makes mistakes. And that is proof that we're learning and trying. Because I'm still young and I make mistakes all the time. And it's good that we make mistakes because that's how we learn better from things. If we didn't make mistakes, life would be pretty boring because there'd be nothing to learn from. And then I had, I found this little sticker on the ground and it says Rainbow Bliss with a little gem as the period. So I'm like, this is positive. So I just put it on my wall. And then right here it says positivity. And my mom did this in watercolor. So it's pretty cool, but I haven't put mine up yet, like the 10 decorations I made. So I'll have to do that later. So that's my positivity wall. And this is a suggestion for you guys. Um, no matter if someone's being mean to you or if you're just a pretty, in general, happy person, a positivity wall is a great way to boost your energy every day because you can wake up in bed and then you can just turn and look at the wall of positivityness and then it will make you feel so much better because I do that some days and it just makes me feel refreshed and just gives me a good start to the day because when I look at this, I can think of my little kitty that my mom sent me and I will think of my mom all day or how positivity is good. And leave me a comment down below if you guys have a positivity wall or what else you do to give yourself a boost of the day. And if you don't have a positivity wall, what else do you do that makes you happy or positive? I'd love to know, so leave a comment because maybe I can try those things and maybe it will help me too. All right, now it's time to dress my American girls. Here's my puppy, and I think I named this one Chocolate because it's a brown and it's chocolatey. So I have its collar and its matching leash, and then this is its little toy, and then that's the bed that I use for my puppy. I think I might have named it Coco. Yeah, that's Coco. And then can't forget Coco's bowl, which now has food. And then I have my panda bed. So I got this stuffy from the zoo and I just put this American Girl doll sleeping bag on top of it. So Kit's in here. And then I don't remember where I put the pillow for this. So I just used, oh, here's the pillow. So I just used a different one. And that should be over there. So Kit's all snuggled up on the panda bed. 
I know it's kind of silly, but it worked. At first when I set this up, I'm like, hmm, where can I put Kit? I'm like, oh, this panda works fine. She, like, it, it balances well. So I just decided to put her there. So then they have Brianna down here, and she has this striped blanket and this checkered blanket, which actually used to be mine. I use them for my dolls. And then I have Jesse in this ladybug blanket and then another one of my blankets that has a whole bunch of chickens on it. So I'll start with getting Kit dressed. So what I did for the outfits is I felt like it was really, I just felt like she would wear more boy things. So I decided to give her a more girly outfit and then for Jessie, I felt like she would wear more girly things. So I gave her a more like, not a boy outfit, but just not like so girly. And then for Brianna, she kind of has like a girly, but also outfit that a girl wouldn't want to look overly fancy. And so she's kind of a mix. I kind of like changed them all up because I just felt like that would be kind of cool. So I got to get Kit out of her sleeping bag. And then their PJs also match. So this is like a really <laughs> girly nightgown and it actually looks pretty cute on Kit. And these are the shoes that I put for her. And these actually came with a onesie that was meant for her, but I decided to keep their shoes and put different PJs. Actually, they're slippers. And then in the back, she has this little braid for her hair and I did this and then I'm going to style her hair because I like styling her hair. And I usually do something with this little piece since her hair is too short to do like a full braid or even a ponytail. Time to get her top on. So here's her top. It's this really lacy top. And I actually did put nail polish on her and it matches her toes, which you'll see in a second. So here's Brianna's, not Brianna's, but Kit's top. Here's her bottom. It's this jean skirt. And I actually had another one and it looked really weird because the Velcro was in the front and I'm like, eh, that looks weird. And I haven't put this on my dolls in a long time, so I decided to do this one. So she's looking really cute so far, except that these shoes don't match. That's her toes. So it matches her hand. I did all the colors of nail polish. So here's Kit's shoes, they're these sparkly boots, and this actually came with a tutu, but I'm like, I want to use a jean skirt with these boots. Oh, and then I'm going to put this bracelet on her, so there we go. There's one boot. So here's Kit in her outfit. Now it's time to style her hair. All right, I need to brush out her hair to make sure it has no knots. So what I do is I braid this part and then with this hair clip, I clip it back here. All right, it was kind of hard to get the clip on because my fingers were slippery and so is the clip and it's pretty small. That will have to do. And there's Kit. Now let's move on to Brianna. So here's Brianna's outfit. So it's kind of this more girly top and then these just kind of like fuzzy velvety sweatpants. And then she has some slippers on which are all crooked. I'm gonna take off her shoes. So she has these black patent shoes. Right, there's her shoes. They look super pretty. And this is her dress. And this is actually the dress that Jessie came in, but I thought it would look super cute. There we go. Got one arm, now I just need to get her other arm. Oh, that's why it was hard, because it was getting stuck to the underwear, the Velcro. All 
Alright, so here's Brianna, and now I gotta do something about her ponytail. <laughs> that does not look the best. Her waterfall braid is still in her hair because I loved it so much. Oh. And if you haven't seen that video, it was when I was at the American Girl Doll store at Indigo Chapters. I just think it's so beautiful. And what I usually do for her is I just take some of her hair and then kind of pull it back like that. Oh, can't have it flying everywhere. And I usually just do kind of like her bangs, otherwise it looks kind of crazy. Cause then there's way more hair. So here's her hair. It's kind of crooked, but that's okay. And then I think I might change Brianna's earrings since it's kind of like her accessory because Kit doesn't really have earrings. I'm going to give Brianna hoops. I don't know why, but this one earring is all bent and crooked. There we go. There's Brianna. Now, time for Jessie. All right, here's Jessie, and I love her PJs. At first, I was gonna have these for Brianna, but then I thought it would look so much cute on her. So they're these baby alive bottoms that I can't believe fit her. And then she has this really cute top that has a little bow and then a whole bunch of purple dots. And then she's wearing these green slippers. I keep wanting to say shoes. All right, her top is this, it's a little crooked is this blue tank top, and over top is this gymnast shirt. Here's her top, and you can't really see the tank top, but I want her to have something underneath. Now time for the bottoms. This is actually what came with the gymnast top. It's these shorts that are velvety, and luckily she's not going outside. Otherwise, she'd probably get really cold. All right, so here she is, but now we've got to do something about her shoes. So instead she's wearing these purple flats. All right, here's her outfit. Except I don't know how much I'm liking her ponytail. I'm gonna do a side pony. There we go, that looks better. She looks so cute and I love how curly her hair is because I was afraid the first time I put her hair in a ponytail, I'm like, oh no, it's not gonna be all curly and wavy and then I took it up the next day and I'm like, wow, it's still pretty curly. And I am going to add earrings for her and I'm going to use the Grace ones. I'm going to use the Eiffel Towers and these are still kind of stuck so I kind of have to hold them. So I'm gonna use the hearts and then see if I can do these ones. Aw, that looks so cute! And there's her other one. I think out of all the outfits, Jessie and Kit's are my fave, especially because of her earrings. I'd say if I could pick one thing about them, it would be Jessie's earrings, Kit's outfit, and probably Brianna's hairstyle, because it looks super cute. Leave me a comment down below, what's your favorite outfit, hairstyle, or accessory that I put on them? Okay guys, we gotta leave for my mom's appointment, and then I'll check back in with you guys later for the rest of my no school day. All right, we're back for my mom's appointment, and we got a snack. We have Timbits, so I have some of my fave flavors. I have a chocolate glazed honey dip, and raspberry filled. And my mom only likes the honey dip and raspberry filled because she's not a big fan of the chocolate. But I love it because it's so delicious and chocolatey. 
And if you haven't had Timbits before, they're like a donut hole. So you know how there's like a circular hole in donut? That's kind of what they're from. And I know I didn't have school today, but I still have dance because it's in a different town from where I live and go to school. But that's okay because I love my dance. And today's one of my fave days because we have acro and jazz. Some of my favorite ones because they're more sharper. And for acro, I love doing cartwheels. It's super fun. Since my mom's appointment took so long, I have a couple hours before I have to get ready for dance. So what I'm gonna do in that time is I'm gonna play Sims 4 and go on my iPad and watch YouTube or Netflix. I hope you guys enjoyed my video of what I do when I have no school because of weather or snowy days. Make sure to leave me a comment down below if you guys have ever got a call from your school saying that you don't have to go. And if you have, why did you not go to school? I love to know, so leave a comment down below. Bye guys, see you next time. The end. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our tree top, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like.